Welcome back to Shoulder Challenge Month. We're on week three, day 18. Today, we're going over shoulder extension twists. So with most of us humans, we spend a lot of time of our arms in front of us, whether that's reaching overhead, pushing, pulling, whether it's even bending down to pick something up. Not often do we spend time with our arms behind us, one arm, let alone two. So we're going to get into a few specifics, but let's prep the tissues before we get into some movements. And this is part of the challenge as well. So let's have you find a spot against a wall. If you have a timer on your phone, what have you with that, we want to go continuous work for two minutes straight. So as we start that, what we want to do is putting our palm against the wall, taking a step forward. And then we want to put pressure into the wall. We don't want to lean our body into the wall, but as we're putting pressure backwards, we also want to make sure we untwist our rib cage. So the only thing extending back and pushing to the wall is our arm and our hands, okay? So mid-level, five to 10 seconds, putting pressure against the wall. We're gonna go lower, same thing, five to 10 seconds. And then up overhead, five to 10 seconds as well. Okay, now we're gonna go palm facing forward. Same thing, mid-level. Five to 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds lower, and five to 10 seconds upper, okay? Both arms, and again, we should feel a good muscle burn on the back of our shoulder, upper back, rib cage, if we will. Okay, now, as we go into one arm, we wanna then incorporate two arms. So, what we're gonna look to do, and especially for people that have popping and clicking shoulders, this is gonna be a huge focus today for you. That is the area that we wanna spend more time around wherever you notice that popping, clicking, grinding sound, and then go in and go in extension with rotational movement. So what we're gonna do, thumbs facing away. We're then gonna go arms backwards and then start to rotate just the arm as you come all the way up. And all the way back. We want continuous movement for at least two minutes. You can go more. So for me, I know it's clicking, grinding in my right arm. So I'm going to spend some time around that area. And it doesn't, you can vary the speed. It doesn't matter uh, the area. We just want to spend continuous time behind us. If it's hard for you to do two arms, focus on just one. But then you have to make sure we want to spend two minutes total of work. So two minutes total minimum, two minutes total minimum, okay? And that rotational work as you're going over this grinding, clicking, popping movements, oftentimes that is tending going over bone. So as we put pressure and effort in that exact range of motion, it will allow a little bit better glide between some of the tissues as well, okay? Again, two minutes total, putting pressure palm facing the wall and palm facing forwards and then two minutes of movement with each arm or both arms back with rotational movement so that is the challenge for today you're going to feel a really good burn we only need one session a day and remember this is something that you can use throughout your everyday life even outside the challenge as well so give that a go and we'll see you guys on the next one